Hi, this is Gustav, the developer of Tubitoof. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a short animation using twins. But let's start from the beginning. What is a twin? Well, while in traditional animation you have to illustrate every element from your scene in each frame along the whole timeline, a twin is a feature that allows you to define automatic movements for one or several objects through a specific number of frames. This means that Tubitoof will calculate the animation of the object you chose for each frame in the range selected by yourself. Having said this, what kind of animations a twin could calculate? For the moment, six. Tubitoof provides six types of twins. The position twin, that allows you to move one or several objects to a path defined by yourself. The rotation twin, a nice resource to create the spin effect for one or more objects in different ranges and directions. The scale twin, with this feature you can increase or decrease the size of one or several objects. The shear twin, that allows you to deform one or more objects horizontally and vertically. The color twin, a handy resource to generate color transitions of one or several objects. And the opacity twin, with this feature you can fade in and fade out one or more objects from your scene. For many contests, this resource is an incredible way to save time. But don't get me wrong, in my opinion, twins are just a handy feature to complement another animation techniques. You can use twins to create short scenes or to enhance those containing other animation techniques. But when you only try twins to animate the whole projects, your animations would look a little artificial, mechanic, not cool. Definitely, twins are a powerful resource for animators, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay, let's work on our exercise. This time, we are going to create a short UFO scene using these three twins. Position twin, scale twin, and color twin. So let's start launching Tubitube Desk and creating a new project. Note, in this exercise I will set the FPS parameter to 24. Now, it's time to illustrate, so in the first frame I'm going to draw a little ellipse representing my flying saucer. The idea is to make it pass flying through the landscape, so the next step is to open the position twin feature from the tools menu. At the right side of the workspace, you will see the properties panel for the position twin. So I'm going to add a new twin. The next thing I have to do is to select the object which I want to apply this twin, in this case my spaceship. After that I have to click on the option set path properties. From there I will be able to define the path my object will go through. In my case I will click three different points on the workspace to set the path, and then Using the green nodes, I will soft the corners, shaping some curves. As I created three points, my path has three segments. So now, I have to define how many frames I want to use for each segment. Clicking on the table at the right panel, I will be able to set those values per segment. So I will use 30 for the first one. 20 for the middle one, and 30 for the last one. Now all I have to do is to apply the twin and that's it. After that I can watch a previous version of my project. Remember that you can edit the parameters of your twin anytime. You just have to change the values at the segments you want to adjust and apply the twin once again. Okay, but I want to make my animation more interesting. 
So I'm going to use another effect the scale twin. Once I click it from the left toolbar of the workspace, I just have to follow the same steps from the previous exercise. I add a new twin and then I select the object I want to use, which in this case is the same, my flying saucer. After that, I click the Set Properties checkbox. From this option, I will have to define the values for several parameters. Let's mention some of them. The starting frame and the ending frame define the length of my twin in terms of frames. The next option allows me to choose if I want to scale in width, height or both dimensions. The scaling factor defines how fast or slow the object will increase or decrease its size. If the factor value is bigger than 1, the object will grow. On the contrary, the object will shrink. For this example, I will use the value 1.02. The iterations field defines how many times or frames the object will be transformed along the length of the twin. In this case, I will use 25 iterations. This means that the transformation will be applied only the first 25 frames of the twin. For this time, I won't use the other parameters provided by this twin. Nevertheless, I expect to explain them in future tubi tips. Ok, it's time to apply my new twin, so let's check out how our animation is going. Maybe you didn't notice, because the effect is subtle, but it's there. The UFO size grows a little at the first 25 frames of the scene. Now, let's try our last trick, the color twin. The procedure is very similar to the one used for the previous twins, so we just have to follow the same steps. Open the color twin from the toolbar at the left side of the workspace. Add a new twin. Select the object you want to play with, in my case, the spaceship. And then, click the Set Properties option to configure some of the specific variables for this kind of twin. Let's talk about some of them. From the Field Type combo box, you can choose which part of the object you want to change its color, the border, the field, or both. I will pick just the field. Also, you can select the initial and the ending color you want to use for the transition. The iterations field, as in the previous twin, defines how many times the object will be transformed along the length of the twin. In this case, I will use 20 iterations, which means the fourth part of the whole twin length. The reason I set that value is because I'm going to check the loop option. In that way, the color effect is going to be reproduced several times through the length of the twin. So let's do the math. The number of frames for this twin is 80. The iterations value is 20. And as the loop option is checked, the color effect will occur 4 times, as 80 divided by 20 is equal to 4. Next, I apply the twins and now we have three different effects on the same object. Let's take a look at it. Well, for a short scene of an UFO flying around, I think it works pretty well. But let's finish this scene adding a static background. To do that, we have to select the static background option from the combo at the top toolbar. And then, from the library panel, we just have to import an image. With the selection tool, we can fix the size of the image to fit the workspace size as we wish. Now our animation looks a lot better, isn't it?
Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this basic introduction about twins. Don't forget to try your own experiments and remember that only practicing you will get the experience to set the right parameters to achieve the great results you are looking for when you combine twins. By the way, we would love to watch your own animation exercise using this feature, so please don't hesitate to share them with us. Finally, I want to mention an extra tip. In the latest version of TubeTube Desk, you will find a new entry in the file menu. The option Open Example, that allows you to load a cute animation, so you can get familiar with all the basics of the software. This can be a handy resource for those who are trying TubeTube for the first time. Now is the moment for greetings to some of our community members. In this occasion, I want to say hi to Lenka Foxy, Alan Sturgis, Pravesh Rai, and Ahmed Karik. Thank you for your comments. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video and please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one!